Hey, hi everybody, it's Gary Lucas here on a Thursday uh, afternoon in April. Boy, how time flies, I can't really keep track of it uh, these days. But uh, anyway, as ever, I'm here to play you. I hope it cheers you up. I know it sometimes cheers me up. Uh, there's a lot to be uh, miserable about. But anyway, there's always music, which to me, like to quote Frank Zappa, music is the best. Yeah, Lulu. She likes this. Okay, so that was a little bit of a piece called Yoop Face, and uh, also known as Lazy Flowers. There was a version of that on the last Gods and Monsters album, The Ordeal of Civility. Yeah, Lulu is digging it too. She's very vocal today. Oof. And uh, let's try and soothe her savage breast with, uh, okay, this is some music. I got a commission from the Holland Festival a couple of years ago. That is the biggest arts festival in the Netherlands. They hold it every June, and this was a film commission score for a great Abel Gantz anti-war film from 1924, uh, Jacques, which uh, it's really an exceptional film, albeit very, very long, two hours and 50 minutes long. And anyway, it was kind of a tag team situation with myself and a really great Dutch composer whose name escapes me at the moment, I'll remember it, and the ensemble Chameleon featuring Emmy Ohai Resnick. And so this is the main theme, the opening theme. Uh, if you see a clip on YouTube, uh, check out the credit sequence because it's very unusual. And uh, I tried to to do a little militant military quick step here. So uh, we did this two nights at the Stadtschauburg in Amsterdam and sold out both nights. All right, so here is the overture to Jacques.
Okay, that was uh, some of the music for the opening of this great album, Jacques, which I'd like to dedicate to our fearless leader. And uh, okay, now somebody, a friend of mine, Bill Dubalier, wrote in and said, "Why don't you turn it sideways?" Well, I couldn't hit it sideways, Bill. I tried, and it just <laughs> it didn't frame properly. In my little eyrie here, I'm actually at a window overlooking the Hudson River here in a lot of the West Village. And uh, Julian Schnabel's Palazzo Chupi over there, this giant pink palace. Okay, so let's see what else. We've got, oh yeah, this is called the Pismatizing. Was on my album Evangeline, which came out in '96. All solo acoustic, and all these albums are available pretty much at GaryLucas.com in the merch section. I've hunted them down. Many of these labels were fugitive, kind of dodgy fly-by-night labels, and uh, well, they just stopped making them when they went out of business, and uh, I've. <laughs> I've had to actually rebuy my own work from Amazon sellers in some instances, but I've tried to collect a complete set. Somebody suggested today I should offer it with a postcard of New York. Uh, I'm not sure that's such a good idea currently, but uh, we are in the epicenter here and uh, the news is really not too good. I think we're up to something like 15 million deaths so far. Very uh, sobering. And, uh, anyway, but I hope to carry you uh, away on uh, some musical notes here. Right? So this is a pismatizing. This is what you got for putting new strings on this thing, I told you. Well, it had to be done. It's like rubber bands sometimes. Okay, here we go. <laughs> We try and get, let this tuning settle in. I want to read all the, the a note about all the people who've been very generous contributing over the last couple of weeks. It was remiss of me. I just blanked out, you know, uh, but I want to give credit where credit is due. And uh, Dave Pearson, this guy is a real uh, trooper and came from Michigan to see... Uh, one of my projects play at the Paradiso in Amsterdam. He's a multiple time contributor. Mike Barnes, one of my oldest uh, friends, a great writer in the UK who is the author of the, uh, an incredible book about UK prog rock, A New Day Yesterday. Check that one out. He was so generous, just came through. Uh, Yasser Taba, uh, I don't know this fellow but uh, he contacted me on Facebook. Jonathan Luftig, he's been a multiple time contributor. Mickey McMahon also, as always, you're fantastic. Richie Robinson, ditto. Charles McArdle, also uh, three or four times. Lisa Potahil from the Czech Republic. Robert Lewis, Colin John Campbell, and Le Natalie Chavaroche. This is a pretty good spread. 
throughout Europe and the Americas. And I've actually had response from Russia, Ukraine, Latin America, Cuba. Uh, if not uh, donations, then, then nice messages. Uh, read the comments at the bottom of, the, uh, of these archived uh, moment musicales. So. Let's see now. All right, I'm gonna attempt something very difficult to pull off, but what the heck, because you're here. I have a friend, Sophie Marielle, who was trapped in Pushkar, India for many, many weeks at the start of this thing before she could get a flight out with her husband. And uh, I'm glad she's finally safe and back in, uh, in good old California where uh, my sister, my mom, and my nephew and brother-in-law are situated. I have to tune up here for this. And Sophie is a big believer in body art. She has a fantastic uh, uh, bespangled uh, collection of tattoos. And so this is... Lydia, the tattooed lady, one from one of my favorite Marx Brothers films. Let's see. The Tattooed Lady, which is on a record of mine called Busy Being Born, which I recorded for John Zorn's Tadic label. Now, I had a request from Mike Barnes, actually, for a steel guitar medley, which I'm still working on, Mike, so please bear with me. But this is some uh, bottleneck blues, and uh, I don't know. I mentioned my mom, I just got some very, very grim news that she has the virus and, uh, well, she's in a nursing home, she's 93, and they're expecting her to pass imminently, so please say a prayer for my mother, Adele Goldman. Uh, this thing is a hellhound on my trail, Robert Johnson's.
Lisa Namavar. That was the name of the Dutch composer. I knew it would come to me. And I want to thank Lieven Bertels, who invited me to be on that gig at the Holland Festival. And so, okay, let's see. I've got cooked up for you. I have a request from uh, my friend Tanya Weeman, who is my webmaster, who's been carefully archiving all these shows. If you'd like to see, I think there's 16 or so to date. And I'm going to keep going uh, throughout this, uh, this crisis. Every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, Saturday. So. I was thinking of switching it to Sunday, but there's so many events. I think I'll stick to the, for the time being, to the schedule. And uh, anyway, if you like what you hear, uh, my PayPal address is Gary at GaryLucas.com. And in these times of no, I haven't received any stimulus check. I don't really expect to for a while. <laughs> And, uh, or unemployment insurance or any of those nice things that would help. And uh, food is very expensive here in the West Village. Uh, someone said, oh, you have to do takeout from this falafel place that we formerly enjoyed. So two falafel sandwiches with the delivery fee uh, and a tip came to $36 the other night. So we won't be doing that again. capo on uh, because I'm going to do some stuff this is like normal tuning capo it up Every Monday night for the last month, I've been entertained and uh, and provoked by this uh, HBO series, The Plot Against America, which is based on a Philip Roth book. And as the credit music, they use a great piece by George Gershwin, The Prelude Number no. Two. And uh, it just ended, but if you get a chance, if you have On Demand, it's well worth watching, and uh, I don't want to spoil it. But after that also comes My Brilliant Friend, the second season, based on Elena Ferrante's books, which I'm addicted to, and the series is wonderful. Definitely check that out. I know my Italian friends can see this in Italian, and uh, 
Hopefully it's gone all over the world like her books. And uh, she's actually working on the script. It's beautifully cast, says my wife Caroline, the casting director. I, I concur, so check that out. But all right, here's that Gershwin, uh, the theme from The Plot Against America. get off early uh, I'm sorry if this was a little bittersweet my music is kind of bittersweet but today particularly I have to try to FaceTime my mom anyway hope to see you here again this Saturday and as ever I love to play for you guys thanks a lot for tuning in see you soon